Hey guys, what's up? By Zach Detron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this is a Town Hall 10 one for you guys, talking about three strategies you should know if you're a Town Hall 10. This first one's gonna be one that you guys are probably a little bit more familiar with, but the next two are going to be two that we don't see quite as often, but I think they're emerging, um, one of them especially, and against lower level Town Hall 10s possibly, they might be the best way to go. Uh, this first one, Obviously, La Luna is still king at Town Hall 10, and against a, you know, a, a middle to close to maxed out Town Hall 10 base, the upper half of of upgrade levels, it's going to be La Luna. There's there's less room typically on a good base to use uh, strategies that are more um, that are kind of more niche strategies. There's typically less room, but we'll take a look at some other attacks and you can see on the lower level basis there's a lot more you can do that might be a better choice than La Loon. but we're going to start off on a base that's uh, fairly well upgraded it has some a lot of max point defense level 2 infernos uh, we can see here starting off is uh, <clears throat> this is Stitch coming in here and he actually does a nice thing with the queen there she enters the base um, gets, getting great value for his small investment you can see he still has Multiple Lava Hounds, three Lava Hounds, a ton of Balloons, a Freeze, a Rage, two Haste. Has a lot of spells and uh, already had got the Inferno, I think, one Air Defense, the Queen. And this base just lending itself to Laloon perfectly. Now, that being said, there's a huge bunching up of Balloons right there. Just the pathing was kind of unfortunate. But it doesn't matter. The Freeze will freeze both the Inferno, the Wizard Tower, and the Air Defense. This guy definitely was not... Uh, preparing his base for a La Luna attack. Uh, the Tesla farm is tricky, but look at that huge cluster of balloons right there. There's so many of them. Um, the pathing, like I said, is kind of weird. They, they take a while to get to that Inferno, but when they do, it does go down. And uh, these last few balloons will make their way over. That Lava Hound actually has to take out the Inferno, which is interesting. Typically, it does no damage, but it does just enough to get the Inferno. And the last two balloons will get out, take out that Archer Tower while it's being tanked. So really, this base, I think, was pretty weak. But the just the pathing got screwed up, and things took a lot longer to get to defenses than they should have. Um, doesn't matter, though. Gets the three-star. Nice stuff there. And uh, we'll move on to the next two attacks. Okie dokie. And 100%. We will go to 15 now. So going down a few. Good War to Immoral Thieves, by the way. Getting the W here. Um, taking a look at how about a Wii. And this is a strategy he's been doing a lot. I think it is mostly going to be what you want to do against lower level bases. This one and the next one we'll look at are better when you can have that uh, advantage on the base if it only has... The Wizard Tower is one level lower, the Inferno is level 2 or below, uh, maybe lower level point defense, but especially the Splash and the Infernos for this attack, because it's a mass attack. Bowlers, Witches, it's the stuff Town Hall 11s do, but it's just being brought down to Town Hall 10, and it's still very much doable even without the Grand Warden. So the Witches actually, for the most part, are the outside troops. They do a good job just uh, along with a few Bowlers, that tandem, just making their way on the, along the outside, clearing out all these external defenses. You don't really need the witches to go into the base as much. They're a little bit too uh, squishy to go into the base. They tend to go down easily, and they're just not quite as effective. But going alongside the outside of the base, if you have a few wizards or bowlers to help them out, they can basically go 180 degrees around the base. As you can see, the top part does. The bottom part peters out. And uh, just make sure your kill squad, too, is it's enough to get in there, get the infernos mainly, both infernos, get the meat, that core of the base taken out. And then whatever's left over, hopefully, will help out around the outside. You can see a big group of witches. And the great thing is there's points in the base where there's not point defense. That allows the witches to spawn skeletons, really get a good force going, and just lets everything um, have a little bit of a break before they encounter the next bit of point defense. So the queen comes through right here, gets a little bit close, but luckily those last few defenses are all clustered together so they can be encountered and taken out uh, pretty much simultaneously right here. Queen stepping up. <clears throat> has her ability still. We'll go ahead and go times two just for sake of time here. Um, the bowlers, the witches, still moving. There's the queen. And admittedly, this strategy does take a little bit of luck. I mean, you can't plan out how everything's going to happen. But I think, in a way, um, 
In this actually, how about a we had two attacks, same strategy, both three stars, I believe, this war. So it just shows this strategy might, in some cases, be more reliable. And in this case, it came down to the wire for sure. Just that archer queen left up right here. She's able to get that archer tower by one-shotting it. I guess it was low on health. But um, beyond this attack, it tends to be reliable. And I think in some situations more reliable than a Laloon. So just keep that in mind. See if the base, you know, has a good design. If the wizard towers are not going to be in, you know, sufficient locations to defend it. But lastly, this this strategy is probably the most rare one of all. Uh, the P.E.K.K.A. strategy at Town Hall 10. This is a much lower level base than we've been seeing. But I think it can be, I've seen it on a max base. I think I showed that attack. It's worked on a max base before. It definitely has the power. Those P.E.K.K.A.s, those healers... Um, level 5, level 4, they are some pretty powerful troops. Even the level 4 healers that are available at Town Hall 9 too, uh, those are still good at Town Hall 10. And the P.E.K.K.A.s are just so strong at level 5. I think they're definitely underused because they've gotten, you know, recently, they used to only be max level 3. I guess that was a long time ago. But the level 5 um, kind of just never got used in war. But and besides maybe a little bit at Town Hall 9, but Town Hall 10 never really got used. But I think we're starting to see it now. And look at that double freeze, one freeze on each Inferno. Why? Because the healers can now keep everything healed up. Typically, it wouldn't make sense to use that uh, a freeze just for an Inferno Tower and nothing else. But it makes sense here because the healers were such an important part of the attack. That way, during the that big initial encounter, he made sure that the healers were going to get keep everything at full health, especially with that rage he had too. The raged healers keep everything at full health. So even when the Infernos do power back up and these next defenses start to uh, take out some of his troops, they're at full health and it's not going to be enough. Just do the math. Those P.E.K.K.A.s, the damage, the HP they have is too much, especially for these low-level Town Hall 9 cannons. Um... A few wizards and a few baby dragons, always good things to bring for this strategy because it's very limited in the fact that P.E.K.K.A.s have to go through walls. So wizards to back them up, baby dragons for certain parts where there's no air defenses. Too bad that one air defense didn't go down, but there was a seeking air mine anyway. Uh, but yeah, baby dragons, wizards, even bowlers, those are good things to have with you so you can start to... Uh, um, take advantage of the fact that certain parts of the base can't defend them as well and the wizards can sit back behind the P.E.K.K.A.s and shoot over the walls which is very nice with the P.E.K.K.A.s are tanking. Uh, so that will do it uh, for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, I really recommend these strategies. They're not completely mainstream. I guess the first one's pretty common but there's stuff worth learning if you're a Town Hall 10 so you have the different options as you're looking at a base. You can say, is P.E.K.K.A.s going to work? Is the Witch Bowler going to work? Is a Valk Laloon attack going to work? More of a Queen Walk Laloon? You have options. Town Hall 10 is a pretty fun Town Hall level right now. If I wasn't so busy, I'd be uh, opting into a lot more wars. Um, actually, at that, at that note, this week's probably not going to be the highest output of videos, but I'll do my best for you guys, so keep watching, and I'll see what I can do throughout this week. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bisectatron out.